Welcome to another edition of K100 Talks. This week, Disco, take it over. All right, so we're going to go over uh, – so Meltzer's um, year-end awards are coming out this week. And, you know, the, the awards are basically influenced by, you know, Dave because it's his readers. And I guess to vote on this, he says all you need is an email. Like and then send in your, your results and stuff. But let's talk about. Yeah, but I feel like it's it's because uh, I've said this before. I feel like it's my my duty to let you know that wrestlers also vote on this too. It's not just like a all mark vote, you know. People in the business mm-hmm. vote too. Subscribers, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, the the people in the business that read Meltzer. Okay, so. That's correct. All right. So the rest of the year last year, um, and these are with the uh the the first place votes. Okay. Rest of the year last year, Kenny Omega won with 629 first place votes, and Roman Reigns got number two with 90 votes. Uh, all the other ones literally are all performers in Japan or on AEW. Every every single guy in the top right. ten. Yeah. So Roman Reigns for rest of the year is the only guy last year that got any votes in the top ten for for the, for the thing. For WWE. Uh, right. So this year, I'm assuming I don't. I mean, I don't know if you know who. Uh, I don't know if Reigns is going to like like this year. Who would you say be the rest of the year this year? I would say Roman or Sammy. I yeah, would say Roman be, for sure. How could it be anybody but Roman? But we're not too – Conan maybe more so than you and I, but I don't know who's big in Japan right now. Maybe there's someone that's really the star over there. Well, let me explain something. That this we're, is we're I, not aware of. When I think of a wrestler, okay, now I think these – like the, the people that are influenced by Dave's awards – are, are people that look at Dave's ratings for the matches. And I think Roman Reigns is proving he didn't wrestle that many matches, but he has all the tools that you want a wrestler to have. He cuts good promos. He looks great. You know, good in interviews. Uh, he, he, um, good acting. You know, he's got all the tools, which is why. And I think, you know, the fact that the, the ratings are so good with him, I, I think Roman Reigns is a no brainer for this year. Um, what about you, Joe? Who do you like? Roman. It's gotta be Roman. Okay, now they got this other category called the most outstanding wrestler. So I don't. It's kind of. Yeah, weird. I don't know what that is. What's the but difference? The, but who's next? Well, basically, four guys. Uh, Shin, Shingo Takagi. I don't even know who that is. He got 366 first place votes, and Brian Danielson, Omega, and Osprey, and some guy named Sayuri, and a guy named you. And Ray Phoenix is in there, number six. But yeah, Utami, Phoenix is six. Utai, Utami Hayashishita. I'm all, all Japanese guys, with the exception of a few American guys. No. WWE guys were outstanding wrestlers last year. Um, and I think that this year, I think the outstanding wrestler would be Sami Zayn. Would you agree with that? I'm going to probably go with, um, even though he's not Japanese, but he wrestles in Japan, uh, Will Ospreay. Okay. I'll go with Brian Danielson. All right. Uh, the tag team of the year. Last year, uh, the Young Bucks first, Penta Phoenix second, FTR third, Zack Sabre and Taichi fourth, Sayuri and Goody, Gutia sixth, fifth, the Usos were just ahead of Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, and who was just ahead of Randy Orton and Riddle, and Mark and Jay Briscoe and Aussie Open. So two WWE tag teams, and the rest are all Japan and AEW. Um, this year, this year, who would you consider the tag team of the year? I have, I have in this order: the number three team, the Briscoes; number two, FTR; number one, the Usos. I would say Usos number one for sure because of all the tools that they brought to the table and their ability to do. Bro, all these other tag teams, like the, the Usos, blow them away in vignettes. Right, all of them, except for except for Ward and Riddle, they were they were good on, on stuff. But uh, I definitely say Usos this year for sure. Yeah, I, I would say Usos as well. Okay, last year, the best on interviews. Okay, listen, to all these. <laughs> this is pretty funny. MJF, Eddie Kingston, CM Punk, John Moxley, Dan Lambert, number six Roman Reigns, number seven Paul Heyman, Don Callis, Brian Danielson, and Miro. Basically, eight out of the ten guys are in a were in. AW and only two people from WWE are best on interviews last year. Um, who would you say is best on interviews this year? In no particular order. Mm-hmm. Um, Sammy, Roman, the Usos, Paul e, and if I had to pick somebody from uh, AW, MJF. Okay. Uh, I would say MJF's probably been the best on interviews. Um, I, I like Rick, Ricky Starks is good, but you know, but M- MJF and like the, the whole, all the bloodline guys. Are just great, great promos every every week. So, um, yeah, I would say uh, Heyman, and I'm yeah. gonna throw in there Kevin Owens. Oh Kevin yeah, Owens? that's a good yeah. one. Yeah. I thought he was. I, great I thought Seth year. Rollins is good on promos too this year. Uh-huh. This yes, yeah? very good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the promotion of the year. This is this is pretty funny. Okay, All Elite Wrestling one, Stardom two, New Japan three, Game Changer Wrestling four, UFC five, number six, WWE. 
Number seven, Pro Wrestling No. Number eight, Impact Wrestling. Nine, DDT, and ten, Drag Games. So obviously, Dave's, Dave's readers do not like WWE. I think that's pretty evident so far. Do you agree with that? Right. Uh, who is the, the who is the promotion of the year this year by far? WWE. Not even close, right? It'd be a shock if they didn't win. Like even his readers would have to admit that the, for the, this past year that WWE would have to win this this year. But I think I think it's a no brainer. So. Um, the match, okay. So, the, oh, oh no, here's a, this is great too. <laughs> so the last year was you know the bloodline angle was pretty good last year, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. This is the best weekly TV show, and this is last year's uh, two years. Well, not this past year, the, the year before. Okay. Mm-hmm. Dynamite and Rampage. One and two. One and two. New Japan Strong three. SmackDown four. Impact five. NXT six. Ring of Honor seven. We are stardom eight, AEW dark ninth, and NXT UK ten. Raw did not make it to the top ten wrestling, wrestling weekly wrestling TV shows from two years ago, but maybe it wasn't that good. But uh, I'm going to have um, to qu- question of. I mean, no offense to anyone that wrestles on the show, but how could anyone pick AEW dark as the best show of the year? These are the readers of Dave Meltzer, you know. So that that should be a perspective that needs to be taken into consideration. The, the Meltzer readers. Bro, I have to, you can read the like like Dave's influence over these guys. All of these rewards trend towards AEW wrestlers and like exclude WWE guys. And you're talking about one pro show is doing twice as many viewers as another show. So, it's, you know, but back then, two years ago, I guess it, you know it was they were a lot closer. But still, I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be very interesting to see the awards this year because WWE kind of pulled away from in the ratings in the second half of the year. Would you agree with that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So uh, next is match. I don't. Well, what I, do you I, what do you pick for the weekly show of the year this year? SmackDown. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I say SmackDown. It's not, it's like, there really isn't even a, a, a close second. Would you agree with that, Conan? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Um, match of the year. I don't know. I mean, Young Bucks versus Penta and Phoenix in a match. I didn't. I didn't. Conan, you liked it. That was from Chicago. That cage match mm-hmm. last year. I didn't like that match. I thought there was too many Corey. I didn't like a lot of the spots. Right, but that's just me. Conan likes lucha. You know, you you would. Maybe agree, but what I'll tell you, the match that stuck out for me, I thought it was a match here just because of the, the expectations were excessively exceeded. Right. Logan Paul versus Roman Reigns blew me away. That Logan Paul got into it was in a main event on a WWE pay per view, just killed it with Roman Reigns. That that's you know, it may not have been five stars, whatever, but to me, that was the match of the year. What, what do you what, what's yours? Mine were in Mexico, right? Yeah, who was, who was the best match in Mexico that blew Probably, you away? It was, it was. Two matches in a row, one right after the other. Really? It was, yeah, it was Phoenix versus Hijo the Vikingo. Mm-hmm. That was incredible. What and show was this on? So people can reference. Triple Mania. Wh- which one? Last year's 30. But, but the, when there are three different well, You matches? ran three, three different ones, right? Oh, the last one in Mexico City. Mexico City. All right. So everybody, and then what's the, the other And match? then the main event, which was Pentagon versus uh, Villano 3. Mass so, versus Mass. Okay. So guys, so ch- check those matches out. See if yeah. they think in the, and check out my room. Go back and watch Roman versus Logan Paul if you if you, if you didn't see it. Uh, what about you, Joe? What what match st- st- stood out for you? Uh, well, it was more of a uh, Austin and Owens is something that really stuck with me, you know. And then uh, Cody Cody's return against Seth Rollins. So both matches from WrestleMania last year, I pick. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Um, well, Cody, let's go, let's go. Uh, this is some. These are some of the B awards, right? United States and Canada MVP uh, last year. Kenny Omega won, and Roman Reigns is number two. And Danielson, Punk, Moxley, and Page. Uh, who would you say the USA Canada MVP is? Roman, obviously. So that's weird. weird. Yeah, it's it's a weird award. Well, yeah. Well, 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 uh, but here's a question for you, Cody. This is one of the categories. And I'll give you the, the uh, from last year. Okay. Does the Mexico MVP, and you know, not this past year, but the year before, that these were the winners as voted on by the, the Observer uh, people. Hijo uh, del Vikingo, Psycho Clown. This was last Race? year? Not, not this past year. For the, the year for, yeah, the year would be 2021. Right. Um, Hio del Vikingo, Psycho Clown 2, Ray Phoenix 3, Laredo Kid 4, Kenny Omega 5, Bandito 6, Pentagon Jr. 7, Ultimo Guerrero 8. Would you say that's a pretty accurate description of the top eight guys for Mexican MVPs? For 2021? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Say it one more time. I didn't hear them all. Hijo del Vikingo, Psycho Clown, Ray Phoenix, Laredo Kid, Kenny Omega, Bandito, Pentagon, and Ultimo Guerrero. Yeah. So who's your who is your MVP top three for Mex- Mexican MVPs from this past 
last year. You were the booker, so I think you – I think this would be a pretty accurate description of who the Mexican MVP is from the guy that, that books one of the companies. Who, who would you say? Probably the three Ps, Psycho, Pagano, and Pentagon. Okay, so Pagano is going to make the list this year then because yes. he was not on this list. All right, interesting. Psycho, Pagano, and Pentagon. No, no El Hijo del Vikingo, huh? He's right underneath. Right there. I got a strong baby squad. I got a strong baby face squad. Right. Um, feud of the year from two years ago was Kenny Omega versus Adam Page. Hmm. Um, this past year, and then MGF Jericho was on there. Utami Hayashishita versus Sayuri was on there. Number two. Punk, Punk and Kingston. Conor McGregor and Poirier they put on there. Roman and Brock. Osprey and Takagi. And Nick Gage and Matt Cardona. Roman and Cena. And Galea and T- Tom, Tam Nakano. I guess those are girls. Like, I, I don't know. Um, who's your feud of the year this past year? Bloodline. Bloodline story. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. Bloodline should, should, what should clean up in all these awards. Right. Do you agree? Yeah. They're going to go uh, in there and Godfather it. Just take everything. All right. La- last, let's go over this one here. Let's talk about the most improved from a couple years ago. Tay Conte, Dante Martin, Saya Kamitani, Jeff Cobb, Jungle Boy, Unagi Sayaka, Maki Ito, Britt Baker, Bianca Belair, Miro was most improved. That's interesting. They had one of the most improved wrestlers that did nothing in 222 in Miro. Um, so based on that, who would you consider some of the best, uh, the, the uh, what's most, most, most improved from this past year? I think one guy is that uh, Dawkins, the, the partner of Montez Ford. Uh-huh. Good call. Brian Strowman, who used to go from unwatchable to watchable. Okay. Um, Ricky Starks. I got him in there. I know. I think he was always good. He just needed a chance, so I don't think. Yeah, that. but he's improved on the mic because he's gotten a chance, chance to shine. That's true. Could you consider yeah, man, Logan true. Logan Paul? Even though he oh Logan Paul for sure, yeah. He was a rookie, but he improved through each match. You know, right? Um, yeah. I got one out there. I thought improved. And the little great. and the little sample size we had, Adam Pat M- McAfee. And, yeah, absolutely. And I'll, I'll give another uh, guy that I thought improved when he turned him heels. Luchasaurus. Yeah. Did you agree with that? Yeah. Yep. Um, and you know who else improved? Because his character came full full circle and he did very well. Seth Rollins, I think, improved. Hmm. Do you Bro, think you Seth know Rollins what I improved? saw the other day? I saw a picture of Abaddon. Remember Abaddon? Mm-hmm. Of course. But like in shape. Mm. Really? Yes. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is also interesting. So this is the last one we'll talk about. Okay. Most overrated. Right. All right. Evil was number one. Okay. Overrated for some reason. Bro, guess who got number two for most overrated by Dave Meltzer readers in 2021? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Take a guess. Overrated. Overrated. Randy Orton. Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, there's some, some some other names on this list. So here, Omas. This is funny. Like, like, think about where these characters are now, right? Omas, The Miz, Muda, Charlotte Flair, Cody Rhodes, mm. Jade Cargill, Jericho, and the Great Ocon. Those are the most overrated guys of 2021. And like four or five of these people are like are like main eventing on these shows now. You know, so that's right. pretty funny. Um, Overrated this year, I think. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Why. There's a lot of AEW guys that are overrated because they're, they're not doing numbers, you know. But I don't I know. Got, I gotta go, gotta Jade. Go. I gotta go, Jade Cargill. But that's just me. Like that's right. just that's never. She's, she's never, not overrated. I'm just that's for my. She's just never won me over. Right. You know. That's um, not her fault. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Let me tell right, you, we'll if there's a girl that I'm gonna start a promotion with for an AEW, she's number Jade, one. Huh? Right. Yeah. Who would it be with you? Uh, uh, Joe Sheeta, nothing. Well, bro, Tony just Storm. Remember, just remember how they started her off. Right. She came out as like, yo, know, just some like green girl that had my time was cut. Bro, 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 right. bro, bro, bro. She had alt. She had incredible confidence right out of the gate. Tell me a program you know? she's been in. She's been there what two years or whatever. Yeah. Tell me a program been, she's been in. Not many. Nothing. Right. She right. just well, goes we'll, through girls. That's it. Okay, so next week on uh, on the Keeping One Hundred podcast, when these uh, awards drop, we'll be discussing the winners. Um, but for Keeping One Hundred talks, we got a little discussion here on what we expect from the from Dave's wrestling awards that he gives every year. But uh, we'll see. So, I'm sure uh, you guys have your opinion. So if you do, send them to the uh, mailbag at k one hundred questions at gmail dot com and let us know what you think about our selections and if you want to speak on yours. Uh, once again, thank you for supporting the show. Uh, keeping it 100, Disco, Joe, and K-Dog. Boom.
Conan, Yo, what up? Fun. This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!